gold and silver throughout the day traded with moderate bullishness we can see a struggle in gold towards 266668 zone while silver is also a struggle in between 31 30 and 3120 levels neither the bulls nor the bears were seen in control and waiting for a breakout we have key events key data sets today coming in first the nfp productivity then later in the day fomc minutes and the rate cut decision and chairman powell's speech is going to be the driving factor today which direction it's going to take where to buy where to sell how to profit trading gold and silver today we will see with the help of charts and indicators we'll do a detailed analysis and arrive at the levels at which you can take a trade and trade profitably and trade logically this is the only channel to give you two updates a day subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon and friends uh, if you appreciate the effort if you think that this effort adds meaning to your trading decisions please press the like button before leaving the video do share subscribe and comment this is a great motivation join the free telegram channel for live updates and join the channel memberships here on youtube to support the effort let's start first we look into gold follow the silver one. See, if you look at gold on the early charts, it has waited patiently for the 20 period moving average to come down and it is getting a greater resistance from the 20 period moving average. At the same time, the support levels on the downside are also very much intact towards 26, 56 to 60 zone. This is going, going to be the prime support zone and this has become the greater resistance zone. So now we know that where we should enter. Ideally, we should wait for it to now break beyond 2670 in order to confirm the bullish reversal. The stock ISTIC and MACD both are rising looking upwards suggestive of bullishness while the RSI is almost staying flat. And on the two hour chart, see, now if it has achieved the 20 period moving average on the hourly charts, why can't it achieve the 20 period moving average on the two hour charts? This one possibility we should not ignore, but it is not always mandatory that it is going to do this. Why? Because see, look at the formation drop, then a drop here, then a bounce back lower highs. And now only bullishness is if it breaks beyond 2674 zone, you can expect that it may continue on the upside towards 268084 zone. And if it breaks 8084, then you can confirm that this is a bullish reversal here. So ideally, yes, you can buy 2670, expect it to rise towards 267476, and then 268284 should get achieved here. Also, look at the formation. Higher lows are seen here and moderate bullishness is observed thus the candle which it is going to deliver it is going to be a breakout candle potentially we may see slight bullishness here and a retracement cannot be denied after a great fall yesterday the stock i stick back to overbought magd look at the magd on the two hour charts on the verge of crossover here this crossover is very significant it is coming after a greater drop look at the formation drop retracement drop a major drop and now it is willing to retrace thus a potential retracement on the upside cannot be denied here you should be watchful a move beyond 2670 71 should be good indication for us to buy rsi coming out of the oversold zone again a good indication here on the two likewise on the two hour charts a very strong base is formed now a solid foundation is always good for a taller building remember whenever you lay a, a foundation for a building the strong foundation leads to a stronger and a taller building this is my expectation from the charts here now if it breaks out beyond 2670 you can expect it to move towards 2674 76 and then 80 to 84 next and then beyond that uh, we are looking forward to 2691 and in fact 2700 levels can be reclaimed again the stock is rising the macd after staying very trying to converge here a crossover is required for it to confirm the reversal RSI coming or is staying in the oversold zone, it has to come out of the oversold zone, requires a stronger push here from the downside. And if you look at the four, now see on the four archers, uh, bearishness here, outside building the bands it traded, bigger tails are formed, suggest that the prices are not willing to stay bearish. What has happened here, higher lows and higher highs here. Once it breaks out beyond 2670, you can expect it to move towards 74, 76 and then potentially we may see a movement, we may see a movement towards 26, 80 to 84 or in fact 26, 91 and 2700 as the next. Only bearishness today is if you see it now trading below 26, 56 levels and then also we have to be careful till towards 26, 50 first 26 44 next and 26 43rd only and only if gold trades below 26 40 we can expect more bearishness here stock is rising the MACD is staying bearish it has to converge it is not it crossing over it is just trying to converge a bit it's still not confirming the bullishness here rsi is staying oversold coming to the now before we move to the daily charts if you want to learn this art of trading you can be 
part of my mentorship batch and if you just want to trade as per the signals you can be part of my signals channel on telegram connect with me write an email or ping me or telegram for your queries and if you are looking forward to a broker which is safe secure trustworthy with global presence which easier transactions and easier withdrawals you can find the recommended broker link also in the channel and video description you can find the link is there in the channel and video description now uh, coming to the daily charts, what has happened? See, it is traded in red, it is bounced back, it is trend, turning green, but I can say uh, it is struggling to break beyond this zone at 26.68.70. And ideally, once it breaks beyond this zone, we can expect bullishness else. Uh, in all possibilities, it can still deliver a second red candle. But where we can confirm that it is turning bearish and where we can confirm that more drop is going to be seen. See, ideally, we have to now wait. We have to wait for it to break now below. 2656 levels first and then below that also 2650 2644 and 2643 key levels if 2640 is taken any point of time today you can consider that we are looking forward to a greater correction the prices can move towards 2620 and 2600 levels today itself and if not today very very soon we may see it striking the zone here we may see it striking the levels here before reversing the stock has taken oversold here. This calls for a little recovery. While look at the MACD crossing over here. This is trading with extreme divergence. This is looking downwards. But when you see the MACD, if you look at the last three to four times, it has found its support here at this zone and bounced back. So uh, today is the day which is going to be decisive and a move on the upside is going to be the factor which is going to decide them for the movements of gold and i will expect that if it starts to retrace possibly uh, we may see it getting greater hurdles on the upside and a little retracement followed with a drop in the forthcoming days cannot be now why i'm expecting a retracement that is another way to look at it see this is an exponential rise here look at the candles here exponentially it has seen the highs now uh, potentially it should start converging it should start the, the candle sizes should start diminishing so that we can see a crossover here but uh, right now i can see uh, the stance is very much bearish and only reversal confirmation today is if it stays above 2674 76 and then 2682 84 zone so beyond this you can confirm that it is turning bullish as the bulls are not present as of now on the downside so thus you can buy here at 26 7 and if you're buying at 26 70 uh, be careful for 74 76 82 84 and then 26 91 2700 levels might get reclaimed volatile day again lot much of data then the fed is definitely going to bring lot much of volatility here on the downside where you should sell ideally i will recommend you to wait for it to drop below 26 59 60 zone that should be uh, ideal uh, we have to wait and then specifically only below 26 56 55 you can expect more bearishness below 26 56 55 you can expect 26 50 26 44 45 and if it breaks below this then 26 40 now till 26 40 we have got greater greater support here for gold on the downside below 26 40 is where we can expect the bearishness to prevail we can expect a movement towards 26 uh 26 30 32 and then 26 20 levels below which you can expect 2600 anything and everything is possible however i will recommend you to just stick to the levels and whenever you see a buying entry just go for buying and if you see a crash here till 26 40 be watchful prices may bounce back below this i think the reversal is going to be difficult on the upside till 74 76 be careful in fact till 80 to 84 be careful beyond 80 to 84 the drop is going to be difficult here take your positions accordingly let's move to now see what silver did on the early charts is it has waited for the 20 period to come down and it is just consolidating here throughout the day we have seen it failing to stay below 30 80 30 90 zone and on the upside we have seen it failing to break beyond 31 20 31 30 zone thus it is ideal that if we see it is staying above 31 20 31 30 zone the lower price has to be above 31 20 31 30 you can expect a move towards 3150 60 first target zone and then 3180 32 might get reclaimed right now the momentum is not very much supportive of such a strong rise it is just consolidating its position it is waiting for the fed and the nfp productivity this will only confirm the movement here while on the downside today a uh, selling entry can be taken here ideally we should wait for 3080 but now uh, looking at the move you can sell at 3090 itself when you see 
the higher price below 3090 you can take a sell expect it to move towards 3070 3050 levels as the next target and if it trades below 3050 stay short for 30 20 and 30 dollar levels as the next targets and uh, we will come back to the levels you see stock stick is dropping here the MACD rising the rsi rising so signs are still supportive for further rise here on the two hour charts and you see look at the two hour charts what has happened a greater resistance is observed here 31 20 31 30 zone let it break past by this zone and see right now what you are observing here is drop retracement drop retracement and a resistance here so now once it breaks out beyond 31 20 30 we may see a movement towards 31 40 50 or in fact once it stays beyond 31 50 higher or a stronger rise can be seen stock i is dropped here magdi crossing over here for the buys let it cross over confirm the reversal and look at the formation uh, ideally it reverses from these levels i hope this time again we can see a reversal here rsi is staying at the bottom and on the three now this time on the three hour charts what is happening you should notice see higher lows are seen and with higher lows we have seen a delivering lower highs it has to break out of this zone it has to come out of this zone either should drop below 30 80 30 90 or should trade below 30 beyond 31 20 31 20, 30 zone either which way should confirm a breakout now see uh, when it delivers a breakout it is going to be a stronger one when i say stronger one the potential movement towards 31 60 can be expected in fact 31 80 or 32 cannot be denied a little retracement can be expected from here stochastic rising but remember these are markets if you see dropping below 30 80 30 75 you can stay short further for 30 50 and in fact 30 20 levels can be seen yes these are markets see uh, i have mentioned earlier in the day one point you should notice drop retracement or consolidation drop consolidation drop and it could consolidate so yes it could consolidate here for a while before taking a direction and that is what it is doing is stochastic rising macd is very trying to converge rsi is staying oversold on the four hour charts when now see on the four hour charts first of all a flat base it is creating which is which is suggestive that uh, now a stronger support base is formed and now once it breaks out beyond 31 20 30 and then 31 50 60 chances are higher that we may see a reversal towards 31 50 60 or in fact 31 80 32 dollar levels is also possible stock i stick is rising here macd is still trading bearish and rsi oversold coming to daily chart now when you see the daily charts you will find interesting observation that a double bottom is seen and from this double bottom it is trying to bounce back now only thing is here is drop retracement drop retracement drop this is just the first candle and a bigger one thus bigger candle calls for a bigger retracement how far it could rise if it takes time maybe two to three sessions we can see a movement towards 32 32 50 levels which is ideally a greater resistance zone and any movement beyond any movement beyond 33 is the only sign of reversal it appears to be a too far level for it to break now the stock i stick rising here the macd is sharply bearish looking downwards and the rsi has dropped itself so looking at ideal buy is at 60 31 uh, 2030 zone or rather wait for 31 30 levels expect 31 50 60 to be the first target then 31 75 80 and then 32 dollar levels should be claimed any bullishness today is about 32 20 where you can expect that it is reversing and then 32 uh, 50 levels should get reclaimed chances for which appears to be less that it is going to break 32 50 at least but yes these are markets on the downside i will read a selling entry now at 3090 expect 30 75 30 50 and once it draws below 30.50, stay short for 30.20 and 30 dollar levels. Take your positions accordingly. Do like, share, subscribe and comment. Join the free telegram channel for live updates. Join the channel memberships here on YouTube to support the effort. Do not miss to watch the next update tomorrow with the Asia and Europe session. Thank you. Have a great profitable trading day ahead.